Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to the channel. We're jumping back into the Red Deer grind. It has been insane. Still getting consistent level 9s. So let's see if we can get some uh, giants today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I promise I didn't plan that. I promise I didn't plan that. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> what are the odds? Oh my gosh, I did one run before the stream. I didn't think that we'd actually get a 9 out of it. <laughs> Dude, you can't make this up. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess we're starting the day out with a level 9. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was the last thing I expected. I mean, I figured we'd get a 9 pretty quickly today because of how good the grind has been, but... I didn't think it'd be the first thing that we laid eyes on. And that guy's big, too. That's gotta be 260s, at least. Do we have anything else? Just a four. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Let's take him down. Oh my gosh, that was, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. What a start to the day. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a huge one, guys. That is a huge one. Absolutely giant. I'd say it's got a chance at 270, depending on how the spread is. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Hey, Lang, Willie, Jackson, Rhett, RL, Luke, Cody, Thunder Chickens, Yo-Yo, Cooper, Carson, Anything Outdoors, Duxton, Smash, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. How have you been doing, Thunder? Hope you've been doing good. Also, everybody, we got a brand new emote. We have the Let's Go emote, courtesy of Hollow Crow. So, all of you members have a brand new emote to use. Ah, this guy's definitely not 270 looking at this. He's big, but not 270. 26460. What a way to start the day. That is pretty crazy. That's the last thing I expected. Literally, first thing that we spot today ends up being a diamond. That is honestly pretty incredible, guys. That is pretty crazy. I mean, I'll take it, you know? Starting out strong? Not a bad start to the day. Literally, first thing that we take. Four, four, four. Okay, so all those are fours. Uh, we're not going to shoot any of them. Three and a four. Let's see what we got over here now. Do we have anything of note? Level four. So I think we have mainly fours over here now. I haven't been seeing nearly as many sixes and sevens spawning over here, which is good because we don't want them to be over in that area. Let's get some hype for Hollow. Exactly. We got all the brand new emotes and they're looking beautiful. We got the Let's Go from Hollow Crow and then we got the Gerald emote from Archie. And we still have three more slots available, I believe. If we get one more member, we will get another slot as well. So if we can get one more member during this stream, we'll have a total of four more emote slots. Which is crazy. So many possibilities with the emotes now. We're gonna have to get a few more cooked up. Maybe I'll even uh, work on one later. Imagine bird, that'd be hilarious. If we did that with a great one, that'd be hilarious. Why don't I kill them all like Whitetail? Because it works differently, I've noticed, with the Red Deer. I have started doing this herd management strategy, and I'm getting diamonds literally every 40 to 50 kills, Riptide. It's crazy. There's a nice mythical there. Like, I had tried herd management on Whitetail before, and never really stuck with it long enough to see the results, but now that I've stuck with it long enough, I can see how crazy things get. Like, you will see a lot of herds that have, like, fours because you don't shoot anything four or below. And because of that, all of the other ones that aren't fours end up being giants.
It has been working out super, super well for me as we spot three mythicals. Like I was saying, it's been going very well. Let's get all these guys down. Three beautiful mythicals. How do you do the management? Just don't shoot anything level four or below. Only shoot the fives and up. That's how you do management. That's really all there is to it. Thunder, thank you for the three months. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Hopefully you've been doing great. Hopefully you've been having a great time. It's got a diamond red fox. Nice, Brody. That's awesome. Those things are rare. So congrats on that. Very rare find. Got a few over there. Gotta love seeing all these beautiful mythicals. Duxton, welcome back, dude. Four months as a member. Welcome back. It's got a diamond. Red. Fo oh, I already read that. Hey, Hollow Crow, how's it going? You uh, missed the diamond. We we spotted a diamond as our first thing of the day. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. No, Cooper, I haven't got the Black Bear Great one. I've pretty much just uh, decided to take a break from the grind because it was just getting terribly brutal. Like, the Black Bear grind is the most difficult and inconsistent grind I've ever been on. And for that reason, I need a break from it. Red Deer are much more enjoyable for me, so I've been grinding them the last few way the last few days. Roughly a week now. And I've just had much more fun grinding Red Deer. Black Bear are just so annoying to grind. But we'll get the Black Bear Great one eventually. Just not today. Because today it's, uh, it's Red Deer time. Can I click the tent? Nope, nope. Can I zoom in and click it? There we go. Always found it weird how just randomly you'll get occasions where you can't uh, click on the tents properly. It's weird. It's very strange. That's a good mythical there. We got a six to take down as well. And a five. So we got a five, six, an eight, and a six. Okay. I think that's one more than what I typically take here. So something extra got here. Uh, we accidentally hit the five behind him. I mean, we still needed to take that five down, but unfortunate that we didn't get vitals because of that. Ooh, nice. We saved it. Didn't save that guy, though, so he's going to run quite a long ways. Fritos, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Any tips on the Whitetail Great One grind? Uh, it depends on what map you're hunting. What map are you going to be doing your grind on? Because that will uh, determine the types of tips I'll give. Since every map grinds a little bit differently. But thank you so much for the super chat once again. Very wacky, uh, Hunter. Very. Really, Adam? That's nuts, dude. That is nuts, man. Also, welcome back. Hope you've been well. How do you like the new map? I love Revon Tuli. It's great. Revon Tuli is awesome. Very fun map to play. That's a big mythical as well. And that's a big mythical as well. Oh, I am loving what I'm seeing. A nice seven, too? Ooh, yes. This is what we love to see. Lots of big males. Um, where's the fourth one? I've only picked up two and then one's up here. Where'd number four go though? Did number four uh, just survive everything? Another mythical. Dude, three mythicals and a seven. Oh, we gotta spawn a level nine or a great one off of this run. Like, I can almost guarantee next run we'll get a level 9 just because of how many mythicals and legendaries we've had. We had a diamond to start off, and then we have seen probably like 7 or 8 mythicals this run. This is uh, shaping up to be a pretty good one. Why are they walking over to me? Hey, now, calm down. I didn't say you could come over here. This is a, uh, a no-go zone. 
Though I guess I should take you down. Even though it's going to add a lot of hunting pressure, but you know, it's worth it to get down this big male. Hey, country boy, you missed a diamond red deer. It was literally the first thing we spotted today. Uh, Fritos, thank you for the super chat once again. Rancho, okay, um, for Rancho, I would recommend primarily just hunting four lakes. The Bosque Alto Lake, La Hacienda, the Ghost Lake below those two, and then whatever the fourth lake of your choice would be, because, uh, I, the reason I recommend those three in particular is because they're the least brushy, they have lots of whitetail, and if you focus on the best lakes and only grind those, uh, it's going to make your grind a lot faster because you can kill more deer in a shorter amount of time if you're using only the zones that are like easy to get to. Which is why I definitely recommend doing that. And then as far as like the grinding methods, um, I've used a couple different methods for whitetail. You could try herd management where you only shoot the heavyweight estimate uh, whitetail, so anything 85 to 100. Or you could do the method where you just shoot everything, bucks and does included, because on Rancho they always come back to the same lakes that you killed them at. They may move zones on the lake, but they will always come back to the same areas. So you could try that. Yeah, Dragon, we did, but because of how quickly we got it and how many diamonds I'm seeing, we're continuing the grind in hopes of finding another one quickly. Because I definitely think that we could get another one pretty fast with the way Tiabaro has been for us. Uh, yeah, Riptide, we did that last stream. We got six level nines on our map at once last stream. We started the day with three because I had got them the previous night of grinding. And then during the stream, we managed to spawn three more level nines over the course of three hours. So we took out all six of them at the end of the stream. It was pretty crazy. I've got a video on that coming out today. Kind of talking about what we were doing and the method that led us up to it. It was pretty crazy. Nice, Harley. That is true, man. That is true. I've only got one of those in Gen Zero. I've only managed to get one of the experimental weapons. And it's pretty good. I like it. We'll have to do another Gen Zero stream soon. I'll have to see if I can get Kill Clinton to uh, jump on again. Come on. Can we get it? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. On to this lake. This has been one of my favorite ones to grind recently. Seen so many legendaries at this lake. Hey, Quandale, you missed one diamond. So far, we've got a diamond on the day and probably like seven or eight mythicals and we've only been live for like 15, 20 minutes. Pretty crazy. There's a six. This was one of the lakes I did a run before we uh, started the stream. Doesn't look like there was any insane respawns at this lake though. Little seven. Level six, although Definitely don't have all of them back here yet. We're missing like two stags. So I imagine they're probably still on their way to the zone. Nice Harley, that's awesome dude. It's a fun game man. It's such a fun game. I feel like Gen Zero is very underrated because it's actually got a lot of really cool systems. Uh, the base building system I just got into last night, and the base building's actually so good. Way better than I would have expected. Makes me wonder if uh, Call of the Wild will ever get some similar stuff from Gen Zero, because they have a lot of stuff that could be used in Call of the Wild. There we go. Now we'll do one quick look up here, because I have one stag that I've been farming up here. Everything else seems to have stopped... Uh, like, it seems like all the stags have stopped respawning in the other herds at this lake. It's just one herd. Which is good for me, because that's less that I have to grind. You don't have to, Dustin, but I recommend it. Otherwise, you end up uh, running low on cash if you don't pick them up. So I do recommend picking up everything. And I've had a few people tell me that when you pick them up, you get your uh, respawns back faster. I don't know if that's true, but I've heard it, so... I'd say it's definitely worth picking them all up for the money and also just to not mess anything up with your game.
Yep, looks like still nothing spawning over here. Yeah, guy's small. All right, so nothing to shoot this run. I used to, Mystic. I don't nowadays, but I, I did growing up because my dad always watched it. Who's excited for Way of the Hunter? I am. Way of the Hunter seems like it's going to be a really fun game. It seems like it's going to be pretty great. Thank you, Carly. I appreciate that. I'm glad you think so. How do you get spawns right away? Well, they always come back, like, roughly after you claim the animal. Like, most of the time, you'll get your spawns pretty quickly. And then, the way that you can get them to the zones quick after they've respawned is just exit to the main menu and then enter back into the map. That will kind of, like, calm down any spooked red deer, and it will also cause the respawns to get to their lake quicker. We got anything over here? Occasionally I'll get a random one that spawns over there, so I like to check it every once in a while. Most of the time I don't grind this lake though, because it's very rare that I actually get a uh, shootable stag here. And that is the case this time as well, but I do like to check it just to make sure that we didn't have anything uh, just randomly spawn over in those zones. Let me readjust my microphone a little bit. It's at the wrong height. Let's see, is that good? Yeah, it looks good to me. All right. What do we have here? Last run, it was a level six, if I'm not mistaken. And this run, I don't see it, so... Might have spawned somewhere else. As long as it's not over here, we'll be good. And it doesn't look like it is, so we'll do a quick scan once again, see if maybe he's hiding. Ah, don't see him. All right, let's go back over here, and then we'll shoot the other ones. Hey, Huntress, how's it going? You got trolled by a level 9 lion. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. That's unfortunate. That was my experience with the first ever lion that I, uh, well, the first ever level 9 lion I found. Got trolled by it. It was, uh, quite an unfortunate thing. I'm sorry to hear that. Always sad to see the trolls. The last couple runs, I haven't seen the big stags coming back to this zone, so... I might be able to just ignore this zone for a little bit. To be honest, I might be able to just skip these two lakes and only focus on these areas here. We'll see, though. For now, I'm not noticing any respawns in there, but they could just be late, to be honest. They could just be super late to their zone, which is very possible. We'll back up a little bit more, but it doesn't look like anything is going to render in. Yeah, just the fours. Okay, let's go over here then. Let's see, uh... Anything else big is over here besides that level nine? Oh, I will eventually, Torp. I will eventually. Right now, I'm just focusing on the red deer. Oh, I should probably write down on my notepad that we got another diamond. I'm trying to keep track of everything for the most part. There we go. By the way, guys, with this current grind, we're 1,030 stags in with 22 diamonds and 17 trolls. So, that is by far, like, the largest kill to... <laughs> Dude! We spawned a 9 from a 9! No way! We spawned a 9 from a 9! That is awesome! <laughs> oh my gosh, second time through this zone today, and we got another 9. This is insane! Yeah, I'm 100% sold on herd, ma herd management. I don't know about you guys, but... 100% sold it for me, with how much I've seen legendary-wise on this grind. That's so crazy. Look at that beautiful stag. 
Look at that absolute beauty. He's definitely not the big rack, but... He's still a very large stag. What? That wasn't vitals? Did that, like, miss the two- Did that go in between the lungs, or did I shoot too high? I might have shot too high, and it had too much flesh to go through. Well, either way, we'll just wait for him. We will just wait for it. Kind of surprised that didn't go in. You'd think that if I was high, it would hit neck bone. Although the 308 has had a little issue of uh, shooting slightly to the right occasionally. So maybe that's what happened? I don't know. To be honest, I was probably just too high. We'll wait for him to come back. It's fine though. 308 shouldn't kill it with a flesh wound. At least it shouldn't kill it quick enough to where we don't get a second shot. We should be able to get a second shot into it. That's crazy that we found another level 9, though. Absolutely crazy. Honestly, we gotta get a great one eventually if we keep doing this, right? Like, eventually it's bound to spawn a 10 instead of a 9. I will today, Deadly. The video will be up today. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? There he is. Hey now, buddy. I think he's out of render now. Yep, just went out of render. Okay, so... Uh, we might have to chase him. Nine from a nine, then ten from that same nine? I hope. Could you imagine how crazy that would be if we got it to work? Now we gotta chase him down, though, because he decided to be a stubborn stag. What is herd management exactly? Leaving everything that's level four or below. Only shooting level fives and above. And if you keep doing that, never shooting a level 4 or below, eventually, you can get your herds to the point where they produce large stags more often. Speaking of large stags, uh, that's a 7. We can't really shoot it though, I don't want to spook this guy off since he still hasn't died. Gotta make sure we get him. Gotta track this thing down so that we don't uh, lose out on him. Uh, no under the tree. I don't think I did. Unless you sent it in PMs. I saw somebody sent me a PM of a diamond melanistic red deer. Which that was uh, pretty cool. Hopefully I can get one of those eventually with this grind. Oh, and also, from my experience, I and from what I've seen other people do, I don't know if this method will get a great one quicker. I don't know if herd management will get you faster great ones, but it definitely spawns more diamonds. And in my book, that just makes the grind a lot more enjoyable when you're seeing more legendaries. So it may not spawn the great one as quickly as, or it may not spawn it quicker than hunting normal. Obviously, there's no way to really tell. But it certainly makes the grind more enjoyable, with just giving you lots of large stags consistently. And hopefully we'll get a super rare off of that. That's kind of my hope, is that we'll end up getting a super rare. There we go, that should be good. Yeah, there we go, nice. We got one into the vitals with that shot. Legendary stag number two of the day, only 30 minutes into the stream. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Carly. Sorry to hear that. Do you shoot every male red deer you see? Uh, no, Outdoor Gamer. I only shoot level fives and above. 
I leave every level four and below. Nice jump. That's awesome, dude. Found three troll nines and no diamonds. That's unlucky, uh, Dustin. Very unlucky. So this is the smaller rack. You can tell because there's not as much mass and there's also splits on the uh, brows. 252.90, it is a diamond. And yeah, we did shoot in between the lungs. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew that had to be what happened. We shot in between the two lungs. Oh, it's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate, guys. Very, very unfortunate. Oh well, you know, it is what it is. Can't uh, win them all. We did get the second shot in there, though. I had a feeling we shot in between the lungs. Just based off of where we were aiming and the fact that he didn't lose any health at all within the first, like, 20 seconds, I had a feeling that we had completely missed the lungs and just gone in between them. It is what it is, though, you know. Can't control it, really. Can't make every shot perfect. Uh, yes, I am on single player. There's a big seven. Hey, Mel, how's it going? We've already got two level nines on the day. First thing I spotted was a nine. His respawn was also a nine. Things have been going crazy so far. Really loving uh, this tactic. Well, what is wrong with me, guys? I just used a 308 on a non-diamond stag. What am I doing? Any tips for grinding red deer? Focus your best lakes. Focus only the best of the best lakes. Don't worry about lakes that have a bunch of brush like this area, this area, this area. I purposely avoid all these lakes because they're super brushy. And when there's a lot of brush around, it just slows down the grind. Alright, later, Red. Thanks for dropping in, dude. Thank you for dropping in. Let's see what we got down here now. Last time we had, what, three mythicals? How to get respawns so fast? Just hunting normally. I don't really do anything extra or special. You just get your respawns by shooting lots of animals. I've noticed that the more you're shooting, the quicker you'll start to see the respawns come back. A lot of times if you're only hunting like a few deer at a time and then resetting the time and then shooting like three more, then you're not really going to get your respawns super quickly. Alright, so I imagine the respawns of those mythicals have not returned. But that's not the reason we do two runs anyway. The reason we do two runs is to get the ones that we missed the first time. Nice, Soren. That's awesome. Get that big male down. Hopefully it'll make diamond. Got a diamond level 3 turkey, diamond level 4 pronghorn while hunting black bear. Nice, Tyler. That's awesome. I've been doing the same with uh, whenever I am... Black bear grinding, just shooting random stuff along, and it's got me a few other diamonds as well. It can definitely definitely be nice to like shoot other stuff on your bear grind as well. Keeps it fresh. Alright, one more check here. If I could click the tent again. There we go. One more check here, and then we will reset the time. There we go, nice level 7. So we got one of them to come back. Without having to uh, reset the time. Five hundred kills, twenty-two diamonds, five rares. Got the great one watching your stream, thanks for the luck. Nice dude, that's awesome, congrats. Glad to have brought you the luck. That is awesome that you got your great one. Very quickly, too. 
That's pretty quick. A seven, a seven, and a six. Okay, so we've got three shooters over there. Can we get a fourth shooter? Definitely not that guy. Uh, no, Hammer, you don't. Respawns automatically happen. You don't have to restart anything to get the respawns. It's just sometimes going to the main menu can get them there quicker because you can bypass the time where they have to travel. Because the reason they take so long is because they have to travel from their spawn points. That's the only reason that it can sometimes take a while is because they do have to travel from wherever they spawn. Um, a couple tree. I've got a couple rares, but not many. Out of the thousand kills for this grind, I have two rares. But, 24 diamonds, I think? Actually, I need to write that down. I need to write down the, the diamond that we just got. So, 23 diamonds, 17 trolls, two rares out of a thousand stags. That is honestly absurd. That is absurd numbers. The more I look at it and think about it, that is insane numbers. I absolutely love this method. It's so much fun. Nice, Kelton. Doing better than me, for sure. Just not finding a lot of rares, unfortunately. Which is... It's really sad, because I'd love to get a nice Melanistic. They definitely did, Johnny. I've noticed it's really hard to find rares. They just don't show up much. Uh, let's actually check one more lake. We'll check this one before we reset. Seven. Legendary. Yes. Number three of the day. Let's go. <laughs> We're 39 minutes in, and legendary number three. Oh my gosh. This is going even better than the last stream. Oh, dude, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. There's two of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is unreal. That is unreal. Oh my gosh. No way, two side by side off the same run. Oh my gosh. Can we get both of them before they spook? I don't know if I trust that. I don't know if we can get both before they spook, but we'll try. Hey, hey, how's it going, dude? You did join at the right time. This is legendary number three and four of the stream, and we're only 40 minutes in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we got both of them. That should be two good hits. That should be two good hits right there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that we got two legendaries. That's kind of insane. Yeah, Blake, that's wild. That is so wild. There's the seven. Well, he might not go down, but the two diamonds did, and uh, that's really all that matters. Come on. Be a diamond. 255.60, that is diamond number three of the day. Absolutely insane. Yeah, Copper, a lot of it's just the way I'm grinding. I'm not shooting the fours or below, and it's causing a lot more diamonds to spawn. Honestly, this makes me think that Flinter's theory of there being a herd balancing system from years ago, it's got to be correct. Like, there has to be some type of balance between, like, I guess, like, the, the spawns that it gives you. Maybe if it sees a lot of small ones on your map, it's like, here you go, have a diamond. I don't know, but it really feels like there is some type of balancing system. 
That's the only thing I can think of that would make sense of why leaving fours and belows is so good. That's pretty crazy. Diamond number three of the day, and we still have one more legendary to pick up. How far did it run, though? That's the question. It was the first one we shot, and it was further up, so it's probably a little bit further this way. If I were to take a guess. I'm pretty sure we killed it, though. I don't think that we uh, missed the vitals. I'm pretty sure we got it. How many kills since my last great one? Roughly 1,050. Roughly 1,050. And there's the vital blood. So we did get this other one. He's right here, actually. This is so crazy. Um, that's up to you, Junus. I haven't been using it on Black Bear because Black Bear are harder to kill. Or not harder to kill, but you just see less of them. And so with Black Bear, it's been really hard to find the big males whenever I've done that method. So I haven't been using it on Blackberry, but you could try it. I'm sure it will work. It just takes longer to find the uh, uh, level nines on Black Bear, at least. Or not level nines, but just the, the shooter bears. But there we go. Diamond number four of the day. 0 0.05 off of max weight. That's crazy. That is crazy, guys. Four diamonds in one stream. Already and we're not even an hour into it. That is some of the most insane luck I've ever had Wow Yeah, I absolutely love using the herd management method now. This has just completely changed my perspective on it. I used to think that it was just Didn't work at all But I, I think I've proven myself wrong just from this grind and I'm really wishing that I had been doing this from the beginning on these Great One Grinds. It would have made them so much more enjoyable. Nice, Kelton. That's awesome. Calling to... Uh, calling to our super rare today. I hope we get a super rare. That'd be insane. Let's head to the main menu and then get back in. What scope am I using? I use the Argus and the Hyperion depending on the situation. I do use both of them, but the one we're using right now is the Argus. So guys, that is diamond number 24. Out of 1,060 kills for this grind. Could you imagine it? Oh, it's a mythical. <laughs> I was going to say, is there another legendary? No, it's a mythical. It's still a big stag, though. Uh, we do have a little bit of hunting pressure here, but we should be good. Oh, gotcha, Mr. Go. Yeah, maybe we'll get a great one. We're definitely having some good luck, so it's possible. Come on, man. One of those has to be good. There we go. I was going to say, if none of those were good, then I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, two super rares is technically harder to get than a great one photo. Believe it or not, a super rare is about 10 times as rare as a great one. And so the fact that you have two of them before a great one is crazy. Because the odds of even getting one super rare is so, so low. Because, like, not only do you have to get it to be a diamond, but then it also has to be a rare fur type on top of that. That's crazy lucky, dude. You don't have to, Clark, but I have noticed that they do respawn quicker if you are claiming everything. And also, if you don't claim them, you're losing out on a lot of cash, and the cash is what helps fund all the ammo and the tents and the tripods that you need for this grind. So I definitely recommend picking up everything. And plus, there's a part of the community that generally frowns upon not picking them up. Alright, later, right guy. Thanks for dropping in, man. Thank you for watching. Do great ones pay a lot? No, it's just a cool trophy to have. 
because it's extremely rare and it's much larger than all of the other animals. And it's also got unique features typically, like the red deer has um, vines in its antlers. Not only is it like one of the biggest red deer racks in the game, but it has vines throughout its antlers. And then for the white tail great one, it's a non-typical, which is a lot larger than what you could normally find. Uh, for the black bear, it's a much larger bear that weighs quite a lot more than the normal ones and also has six unique fur types that you can only get on the great ones. So that is like the primary reasoning why people grind for great ones. Not only for the cool features of them, but also because it's the rarest thing in the game. Besides super rares. It's one of the hardest to get things and the uh, satisfaction of eventually finding one is crazy. Like the adrenaline rush is wild. Uh, sadly, no, Chase. I'd love to get a Melanistic Diamond Red Deer, but I don't have very good luck with Melanistics. I've only had one spawn over the 7,000 kills grinding and the, like, one or 2,000 kills I had before the Great One Red Deer was a thing. So out of almost 10k kills, only one Melanistic. I've been very unlucky with them, sadly. Uh, no, Killian. There is no Albino Black Bear. I bet, Mel, that was crazy to see. I'm happy that you were able to get a bunch of pictures of it as well. I feel like... I feel like a lot of people enjoy the close-up look at uh, the Great Ones before being taken down. Because, like, for some people, they may never see a Great One because of how rare they are and how much time you have to put in to get them. And so I feel like a lot of people really enjoy the close-up looks at them. Oh, that's crazy, Carson, if you do. That's crazy. Any diamonds? Four so far, Ricky. We've had four diamonds in 50 minutes. It's been kind of absurdly crazy. Oh, that's a mythical. And that's a seven. Oh, wow. We have two new ones there? I only shot one out of that group, and now we have two new ones. I guess one moved from a different zone. Yeah, Mel, I can imagine. I probably would have taken more pictures of my last red deer, but I was so afraid of Tiaroa crashing that I just didn't uh, bother with it. How many hours do I have in Call of the Wild? Like 3,700 or something crazy like that? Nice mythical, and then this guy was a 7 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that is awesome, Copper. A Leucistic Robin. I can't say I've ever seen a uh, rare Robin. That is awesome. Nice, gamer. Hey, Zach, how's it going, dude? Welcome back. Nothing too large over here, but considering last run there was nothing there, I'll take it. I'll take a little level six. Gotcha, Copper. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Just killed a piebald moose. Nice, Buck Hunter. Is a Mellow Red Deer as rare as the Great One? Yes, roughly. I think it is about as rare as a Great One. It's hard to say exactly because Expansive Worlds doesn't really, uh... They don't really reveal how rare everything is. They kind of just leave that up to us. Uh, Riptide, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Do you know any hotspots or tips for feral goats? One of my favorite trophies. Also, did they nerf the 300 more? Seems like after the update, it's even worse against Buffalo. Barely kills them. I don't know. I haven't used it on, uh, Buffalo recently. So, I'm not sure about that. As far as the goats, um, you can find them up here now. So, you can get the feral goats up here and also up here. And then I've seen them at the Pukimaro Lakes, even. So I would definitely check the Pukimaro Lakes. Uh, obviously the Raltanui's I imagine are still good. I haven't checked them though. And then I know that these ones are decent for goats. So I would check those areas and see what the luck is like. That's a six. Okay, so we can shoot him. It's possible that we're not going to have anything here yet because... 
This zone is one of those ones where a lot of times it takes a little bit of time for them to actually get here. So I'm not expecting to see anything here yet besides that six. What rifle am I using? Uh, the 300 for non-diamond stags and then the 308 for everything that's diamond or rare. <laughs> that was the most dramatic neck shot I've ever seen in my- Oh, I shot the wrong one! No! I shot the wrong one! Oh well. One won't matter. I have occasionally accidentally shot a four here and there and it doesn't really- doesn't really mess anything up from what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, Johnny. In my experience, every time that I've shot a three or a four, I just get another three or four to respawn. So I'm not too worried about it. I've uh, accidentally done this a couple times, trying to shoot other stags, and then like a four or a three decides to walk in front of it. It is what it is. Unfortunate though, because after a while I've started to get used to where everything is on the map. I start to get used to like seeing level threes and fours in certain spots and then seeing all of the bigger stags in certain areas. So that's a little unfortunate, but it shouldn't really hurt anything. Yeah, I don't see anything else crazy over here. Let's just go claim this guy as he floats. He is floating very interestingly. We might be able to grab him right here. Provided he doesn't straighten out. What's my favorite trophy? I'd say my Melanistic Pheasant and my Small Rack Great One Red Deer. Those are probably my two favorite trophies. Oh yeah, I've done that raid. I have done that as well. What's the strategy for Great One Red Deer? Well, the strategy I'm using is to only shoot the level 5s and above. So anything between level 5 and 9 gets shot and everything 4 and below gets left on the map. No matter how many of them spawn, I leave everything 4 and below. Even if it means like 70% of my map is 4s. That's a big 7 there. That's a good seven as well. Another good seven. Um, not sure what we hit there. Going to assume it was a tree. And out of render. Unfortunate. Oh well. Nice, Andrew. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Uh, you could leave the fives too if you want to, Hammer. I just shoot the fives because I've found that to be the best for me. But you can modify the uh, grinding method for your own likings as well. I know quite a few people that grind uh, slightly different but are still using the same general concept. Some people only shoot level sevens and above. Others shoot five and above like myself. I've seen some people that do six and above. I've even seen some people that do four and above and leave all the threes. So it does uh, vary from person to person on what particular grinding technique you use. Just got a 300 moose. Nice, Ricky. That's pretty rare. 300 moose is not a common thing to see. Oh, a six over there? Really? All right, then. I'll take it. Just a random little level six. Oh, no, Cornies. That sucks, dude. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's not a fun thing to have happen. And he's floating. Well, we'll get him later, I guess. Uh, yeah, Log, I would. Would definitely go to main menu after. 
Stacy Pratt's welcome to the scare crew our 250th member really appreciate it Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon and all the SME most ability to use commands access to private discord channels once you link discord to YouTube and access to my scrap content on the channel really appreciate the support Thank you so much Holy that is a lot of big males. Oh my gosh. I feel like this uh, this herd is growing <laughs> I feel like this herd is growing Definitely is growing we didn't have this many last time I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them. Oh, they're still calm. Okay. No, we're out. Oh, we got him vitally though. Zeroing to 300 might be helpful here. Come on. Um, you know, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I didn't expect it, but I'll take it. <laughs> that was weird. Just seeing him drop like that. What an interesting maneuver. I mean, I don't think it helped him much, but I'll give him a, I'll give him a nine out of 10 for the effort there. It, it was an interesting maneuver, but he did it again. And he died from the fall damage. Or at least it looked like it. <laughs> oh my, that was something else. Well, that'll be a shorts moment. <laughs> that was so strange to watch. Yep, pretty much, Johnny. Typical scarecrow shots. <laughs> oh my. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Well, that's a five we need to shoot. Lots of big males to claim, thankfully. Though a couple of them we didn't hit super well, so they ran a bit farther. It, oh, one of them floated, didn't it? Yeah, one of them floated. A six and a seven over there as well. Lots of big stags going down, though. What part of the river is that? Right here. Near... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it's near that. Right here. Pretty good spot. Really good spot, actually. Apparently, Tyler, it seems that way. That, that red deer decided that he wanted to uh, see what it was like to fly. He's like, hey, I'm dying anyway. I might as well try flying. Well, it didn't really work for him. He wanted to be a fish. Yeah, that one wanted to be a fish. The other one wanted to fly. What's going on with our red deer? They've just got unrealistic aspirations. Why are you using improper ammo? Because it's faster, Thad. It kills them much quicker, and on a grind, that's all I really care about. All we really care about is quick kills on a grind like this. Three, yeah, there's three that we can shoot. The others can live. Oh, uh, you can do that, Winter. I'm doing level fives and above, but six and above should give you roughly the same effect it, it might give slightly different effects because it's slightly different levels being shot but it should still work i know quite a few people that do six and above and then i also know some people that do four and above so you can kind of tweak it to see what works best for you and then whichever you find to be the most efficient then just stick with that one that's what i would recommend <laughs> yes, Hunter, pretty much. Pretty much. The Red Deer wanted to show us that they aren't afraid to. No, don't, don't bounce. No, don't dance away. No. 
I love how the water interacts with them now. It, it's too good. It is just really too good. <laughs> Thank you, the gamer. I appreciate that. Hey, Volt, I'm doing good. How about you? Hopefully you're doing great as well. Got a piebald male and female red deer. Nice, Fox. That's awesome. Yeah, Sora and I will eventually. Just taking a break because that grind is really grueling. What did I just witness? I don't even know, Jacob. Something special, that's what. Alright, back up to this lake. Can we get ourselves a diamond? Will we get a diamond from those two diamonds? Definitely, Hunter. That was a good herd. Level 7. Just a 7 from what I can see. It's probably one of the ones that wasn't here when we hunted this zone the first time this run. Um, what I would do, PNG, is maybe just try to change up your grinding tactics a little bit. That's what I've done every time I'm having a rough grind. If I see that something's not working, I'll just switch up what I'm doing and try something else. That's why I started doing the herd management, because I was shooting every stag, and I wasn't getting any luck. So I decided to do the herd management, and then my great one ended up showing up, like, a couple runs after starting it. Sometimes all it takes is just changing up your uh, grinding methods. Three runs at the Pukimaro Lakes? That would be pretty cool, Levi. Not gonna lie, it'd be nice to take another one at Pukimaro. This time the lower Pukimaro, though. Both of my Great One Red Deer have been at upper Pukimaro. So if we could get it at the lower one, that would be cool. But quite honestly, I really hope it spawns at the River Zone. I really want the Great One to spawn at this zone. Because that is such a cool zone to hunt. Lots of fun every time. Uh, nothing over here. Looks like they stayed spooked off. Quite honestly, let's just main menu and then jump back in. Uh, yeah, Jake, I always kill single stag zones. Regardless of where it is, if it's in the areas that I hunt, then it goes down, provided it's five or above. If it's five or above, it goes down no matter which, uh, zone it's in. Even if it's the last stag in its zone, it goes down. Level seven. Well, we got a seven there. Hey, Archie, how's it going? You missed something crazy. We had four diamonds spawn within 40 minutes of the stream. Four diamonds in 40 minutes. It was absolute insanity. But to be honest, that has been most of my runs ever since I started using this method. Don't you dare die in the water. Okay, you're kind of out, but you might bounce in when I do this. Uh, yes, yeah, CML. I've had a few crashes with it. It seems pretty random, though. Some days it crashes a lot. Other days it crashes a little. Some people don't get any crashes at all. Others can't even play the map. It seems pretty random and... Ugh, you. You. I despise you, sir. Well, we'll get him later, I guess. Didn't miss the level 3 next shots, though. <laughs> oh, man, Archie. That's funny. I think that was right after we got the fourth one, actually. We had two of them spawn side by side on... What was it? The second or third run of the day? I think it was the third run. Hey, okay, there is... I can spot it. That should be a six. Yeah, it's a six. Everyone here is a nerd? True. We're all nerds, including myself. Can we get it? Hello? Sir? Thank you for cooperating. Whoa, whoa, chill, ma'am. I didn't die. Okay, not gonna worry about it then. 
Not worth the time. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that, the gamer. I've had it, too. It's, uh, not fun. What happens if you shoot a diamond with improper ammo? It will score gold instead. <laughs> yes, JN, exactly. <laughs> Nerd gang for life. Hey, BP, how's it going? We ended up getting four diamonds in the, four in the first 40 minutes. It's been crazy. Oh gosh, Levi, I don't know. I've been having the same issue. But since it doesn't show where the tripods are, I've had to go searching for them a couple times on Tiawara as well. I hope they fix that. Be nice to actually know where the tripods are. Would definitely be nice to know. Do we have any stags in there? No, we don't. Yeah, this lake has not been spawning much recently, so I don't think we'll get anything there, but I like to check it anyway. Why do you want three great one red deer? Because it's fun. I grind it because I enjoy hunting them. I am, uh... I'm just a grinder at heart. It's uh, just the way it is. I enjoy the rush of finally spotting a great one after a long grind. And all of the, the crazy stuff that happens along the way. But for me, the big thing is the amazing adrenaline rush when you spot the great one. And the fact that they're just incredibly unique compared to the rest of the stuff in the game. It's the one thing that... Keeps super long time players interested. Because after a while, diamonds stop becoming special. Especially when you're a content creator like myself who has killed close to 800 diamonds now. Diamonds kind of lose their magic after a while. And great ones are something that still have that magic. They still have that uh, great rush when you spot it. And then the, the crazy stock up to take it down, worried that you're going to mess it up. Come on, buddy. Slow down. Fine. I'll, uh, I'll take you on the run, then. You're not going to slow down. We'll just take you right there, I guess. Oh yeah, Thad, I'm super excited for both of those games. Way of the Hunter and the Angler look to be pretty great. And I'm happy they're releasing in the same month as well. I mean, there's just going to be so much to do next month. Going to be an absolutely crazy month for uh, content on the channel. Going to be doing tons of Way of the Hunter, tons of the Angler. Hopefully we'll have a brand new Call of the Wild update by then. And hopefully these stags will stop floating. Dude, why? I don't want to have to come back and get this guy because he is so big. What would I do if I messed up a great one? Uh, probably just deal with it. If I mess up a great one, it's my own fault and there's nothing else I can do. Sean, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Just got my great one. This method is great. That is awesome, dude. That is awesome. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Fish stag number three. Yep, we got so many fish stags today. Who needs fish sticks when you have fish stags? Nice, hunt dogs. I have a botched great one in my lodge. Don't hunt at 2.30 a.m. When you're, when you're tired. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've done one of my hunts super late at night. Actually, a couple of them. Now that I think of it. I had one of my whitetail great ones at like 3 in the morning. And then I had my first red deer at like 2 in the morning. To be honest, I'm surprised I made the shots on either of those. Nice fear. That's awesome, man. Congrats.
<laughs> yeah, BP. Understandable. Understandable for sure. Level 6, level 8, level 7, lots of big males again, and there we go, another 3 spawned in place of the 3. There he is, there's the respawn. Oh, there's two threes actually. When did we get a second 3 here? I guess that run maybe? Maybe we already had one? Getting more over there now though. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that'd be cool, CML. I'd like to take one of Mississippi, but the Whitetail are so inconsistent on that map that it just keeps me from grinding them there. Like, I don't want to have to be searching for where my herds went every single run. That's the only reason I haven't done a Mississippi grind. Because I agree that it would be a very cool map to take one on. I think uh, my next Whitetail great one will be off Rev on Thule, though. I think we'll definitely do Rev on Thule for the next one. All right, there we go. Oh no, Cash, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Shoot one three and things happen? I know, right? We mess up a, we mess up and shoot a three one time, and now everything's in different spots at this lake. That three was the glue that held this uh, herd together, apparently. That is uh, how it would seem. Watch the great one spawn over here with all the, the level fours. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious just to see the great one next to all of these level fours. I kind of hope it does actually. That'd be interesting to see the, the great one over here with all the fours. Couple nice mythicals. Um, after the next red deer, I'll probably try to finish the black bear grind up a uh, bird dog. Because even though it's a really annoying grind to do, I still gotta go for it. I need to get at least one Black Bear Great One in the Lodge. So after we get another Red Deer, I'll probably go back to that, but... I just had to take a break from the Black Bear. Oh no, Joshua, what happened, man? What'd you do? What happened, my dude? Oh, that's unfortunate, Janter. That's unfortunate. Oh, you didn't tax a leucistic plains bison? Oh, no. I have forgot to tax a couple piebald red deer in the past. Back when I first started YouTube, I forgot to tax a piebald red deer hind. Most of the time, I've been pretty lucky, though, and I haven't forgot, but that was one time where I did forget. Level 6. What else? A six. Alright, so nothing crazy this run, it seems. Though we still have not got to two of the better areas, so... We still have those to check. Almost forgot to tax my first rare goose. Oh no, Jan. That's unfortunate. I've heard of a lot of people forgetting to tax the uh, Grey Canada Geese because they didn't think they were rare. A lot of people for a while thought that Grey was an uncommon because of a spreadsheet that somebody made that had incorrect information on it. So there was a lot of people that lost out on Grey Geese. Even though they are a rare. There was a lot of people that thought they were an uncommon because there was a spreadsheet that said it was uncommon. So that was unfortunate. There's a lot of people that uh, thought that they weren't rare. All because of that spreadsheet. Nice, Koa, that's awesome. Congrats on your 12th diamond. Can you do a Hirsch guide, please? It'd be very helpful. I don't really hunt Hirschfelden, so a guide for me wouldn't really be very helpful, to be honest, because I don't really know much about the map. I don't really enjoy hunting Hirschfelden. And I've heard that even after the update, it hasn't really changed much, so I just haven't even bothered playing it. So unfortunately, I'm not really the person to do a Hirsch guide. 
I'm sure there's going to be some other creators that'll make a Hirsch guide. Why do I like grinding bear less than red deer? Because bear are incredibly inconsistent. They move zones constantly and it's difficult to find. Oh, that's a legendary. <laughs> that's a troll legendary, but it's another legendary. Uh, but yeah, it's mainly because they're incredibly inconsistent. They're late to their zones. So it's extremely time consuming just to get half of the numbers down that I would with red deer. And red deer are my favorite animal in the game. So that also helps with keeping it interesting. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty right there. That's one, two, three that we can shoot. All really large though. I think we got all three. Almost positive we got all of them. Nice, Hunter. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Okay, he's gonna go down. Come on, fall off. I don't think he's gonna fall off, but... At least we got another nine down. Awesome to see. Super awesome to see. 240. Uh, not a diamond, just the troll rack. But that's five legendaries in an hour and 20 minutes. I will take it. Super awesome. Four, six, four, four, three, four. All right, so only one shooter over there this time. And I have noticed that happens sometimes. I'll have a run or two where I don't see a lot of big ones of this zone, and then there will be another run where there's a ton of big ones. Seems to alternate. What method am I using? I'm shooting fives and above. Leaving all of the fours and below. And it is getting us some crazy luck. Just got a 269 red deer exactly where I'm at. Nice, Jackson. That's awesome. That's a massive red deer. I feel like for red deer, once you break 267, it's a pretty big deer. And then if you break 270, it's an absolute monster. So 269 is giant. Uh, possibly, Carson. If you had seen the first four diamonds, we got a troll. We just killed a troll over here. That was our uh, fifth level nine of the stream. Oh no, Hunter123. That's uh that's never good to have your volume max, especially in a scarecrow stream. You're bound to lose an ear. Alright, they are not back. Oh, there's the one that was floating. Let's go get him. There's our little floater. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of troll red tier 2, BP. Like uh, roughly 50% of my nines have been trolls. Which is pretty unfortunate. Um, oh, I need to write down that troll real quick. Uh, let's see, that's troll number 18 on this grind. 42 in total over all of my red deer grinds. Gosh, that's so many trolls. Okay, so this is my stats for every great one red deer grind we've ever done. 7,368 stags, approximately. It's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough. It's 76 diamonds, 42 trolls, 21 rares, and two great ones. This grind alone has been 18 of those 42 trolls and 24 of the diamonds in 1,060 kills. Like, that's almost a 50-50 ratio there to, of diamonds and trolls. The trolls have been absurd this update. That's not bad, Johnny. That's some pretty good numbers as well. Five diamonds and two trolls and 399 is good. All right, let's uh, main menu again. Because it looks like we're getting some situations where they haven't come back from being spooked. So let's just get them back to their zones. Yep, 
Yes, Joshua, a couple times. I've been tricked by those dilutes a few times. Same with Grey Mountain Lions. They've tricked me before as well. Level 6. Just a 6. Seven thousand kills into the white tail grind. Fifty plus diamonds. No great one. Jeez, dude, that's unfortunate. That is a lot. Well, let me update my notepad on what we have killed today. Nice, Carly. Hopefully, that thing will make diamond. Cause those are always pretty cool to see. You know, we're going to have to buy some more 300 ammo soon. I bet, Aaron. Two diamonds, three rares, one troll, and about 200 kills. Nice, Zach. Nice. Not too bad. Yeah, there's that six that didn't die last time. Let's get him down. Let's actually kill him this time. Make sure he's down. Yeah, don't blame me, PNG. Unfortunately, some people's RNG just isn't as good as others. I know a couple people that took like 12k before getting a great one. It's definitely possible for that to happen, but if you just keep on grinding, eventually it's got to show up, right? And like I was mentioning earlier, sometimes all it takes is switching up your grinding method. That's how I've got a couple of my great ones to spawn, was just by changing up what I was doing. Because what I was previously doing just wasn't working. Uh, six in total, Jamie. Two red deer, four white tail. Uh, yeah, pirate. That would have been crazy back then. My biggest was 291 at that time. All right, later, Omega. Thanks for dropping in, dude. First diamond was a piebald diamond blacktail. That is crazy, Christy. That is crazy. Gonna do the fives and above one because herd management just doesn't work. Wait. But that that is what herd management is, though. Five, shooting fives and above is herd management. It's a, a form of it, at least. Literally, like any type of any type of strategy where you're leaving specific ones and then shooting others, that's a herd management. That's also a big mythical. Nice, big male. Nice call the wild vids. That's awesome. I still don't have a gold fur type of diamond, believe it or not. I'm very jealous of that, my dude. That is awesome, though. Congrats. Time to buy a bazillion ammo. And spend all the money that we've earned during the stream. Ah, 600 is good for now. Nice, BP. Nice, man. Hopefully that great one will show up soon for you. How do you buy so fast? Uh, you can left click and then hit enter on PC. If you hit left click to click the buy and then enter to accept it, you can just spam those two back and forth and it'll buy it quickly. Two thirty-seven. So that would have been a troll rack. That's basically the same rack as the troll rack nine. Oh yeah, Johnny. I mean, Xbox has it easy when it comes to buying ammo. 
On PC, if you don't do the uh, spamming entering, then some people just use the mouse to do it all, which takes so long. I bet, Johnny, I bet, because you've had quite a few uh, times where you've bought, like, way more ammo than I could even fathom buying at once. I already replied to that, Call the Wild Vids. I, I, I already replied to that. Why, why are you saying it again? I replied to it and said that I'm, that I'm jealous. I want one of those. Yeah, I imagine, Hunter. I imagine. What is my rating on fish stags? Well, we've got three fish stags so far. Um, none of them diamond, though. You know, no diamond fish stags yet. None of the big males have, uh, decided to become fish. I'm sorry, dude, but it's the only shot you're giving me. I had to do it. I had to hit him with the one-two punch. How do I like my steak? Uh, typically medium rare. Don't run me over, man. I don't appreciate that. Interesting, Luke. That's very interesting. Not sure why that would be happening. Got a diamond Western Capricali today. Nice, Lucas. That's awesome. Congrats on the diamond. I still need to search for some more Revon Tuli diamonds. I haven't done a ton of Revon Tuli because of the... Great one, Black Bear, and because of Tiawaroa being so good. Alright, later, Aaron. Do you hunt in real life? Yes, I do, Soren. I haven't been able to recently, but I did a lot of hunting growing up. All right, two down. Uh, well, nobody knows 100% how respawns work, Henning. Um, it's assumed by most that they happen probably immediately, and then they just have to walk to the zone that they were in. And that's why sometimes it seems like respawns take forever. But then also sometimes they go to different zones within where you shot them. Nobody really knows why. But those are just some observations that myself and a lot of other people that grind quite heavily have uh, made over the years. Well, that's a mythical. Random mythical across the, across the river. Lake. Lake river. Whatever this is. Lake, I think. Yeah, it's a lake. Uh, to be honest, this is more of a pond, but you know. I guess we could call it a lake as well. Alright. Let's go get him first, because he is a thick male. Oh, you did, Mountain Rocker? That's unfortunate. That's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, they just go to level 3. I believe all of the new birds except geese go to level 3. Geese go to five, and then all ducks and upland birds go to three. Same with turkeys as well. Hey Mark, how's it going man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Ah, uh, possibly Carson. Nice, Ermo. That's awesome. Congrats on your first diamond fallow. That's a four. That guy gets to live. Yeah, it's really interesting though, Jan. I didn't, uh, I didn't expect them to make it so they could troll. I thought we would forever have guaranteed diamond turkeys. Got so many good zones, forgot to check the river. 
Yeah, Cannibal, the river's crazy. The river is so good now. Level 7, nice, okay. So we got one seven. Oh, another legendary. Another legendary! Holy! <laughs> Dude, two legendaries! Oh my gosh. This is the second time today that we've spawned two legendaries side by side. <laughs> That's insane! Oh my gosh. So, that is legendary number six and seven of the day. That is insane. Oh my gosh, we're going crazy. We're going crazy with the nines today That's a big male. It's also a seven next to them as well Awesome mark. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content dude really happy you're enjoying it That's a big male though. That's a big male. We might get closer for these. I don't want to mess that up Yeah, I've heard they can Johnny. I've been told by a few people that they can now Definitely cannibal. Definitely. Second double legendary of the day. This is absurd. Look at that beauty. So he's roughly 300 away. Honestly, if he stays broadside, we should be able to make this. I think we can make this. 0 to 300. We will aim slightly front of the lungs since we've had some issues with it going back. That looked solid. Yeah, it's good. That guy's guaranteed troll, so I'll just light him up. We got him, though. Not bad. Made a good shot on that legendary. Thank you, Gavin. Yeah, we got it. We got it, man. We got it. No, he's a floater. Oh, how could you betray us? We just said we haven't had a level 9... Water stag yet. We hadn't had a level 9 fish stag, but now we do Well, we'll pick up this guy Another troll. Let's uh write that down on the list 19th troll of the grind All right now we gotta wait for him that's gonna be fun. Me too, Thunder. I hate it when they float, man. Welcome back, Carter. You didn't miss too much. We just got a two level nine side by side. And this is this right here will be the seventh level nine of this stream. An hour and 30 minutes and seven level nines. Herd management giving us all the goods today. Yeah, fusion. Man, I'm really hoping that we can get a super rare. I think we can at this rate. If I keep grinding, we're bound to eventually get a super rare. Oh, they have Maddie? That is unfortunate. I think we have had two troll rack and then five diamond rack today. Nice, Thunder. That's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that it's working for you guys as well. Now we got the fun part of just having to wait for this guy. Well, might as well uh, read the chat. How many great one reds do I have? Two currently, Daniel. Two currently. Albino female lion. Nice call the wild vids. When am I going to grind for a black bear again? I've been doing it off stream a little bit here and there. Um, I probably won't do a grinding stream again until we get another great one red deer. Then we'll go back to Black Bear. Oh, that's unfortunate, Fainter. It'll come eventually, man. They can be difficult sometimes. Testing out this method seems too good to be true. Go for it, JN. It's a method that people have used for years. I just never really realized how good it was until recently. I never stuck with it long enough to see the results. That's the big thing that I'll tell you, JN. You gotta stick with it for a few hundred kills at least. Otherwise, you might quit before it starts to get good. Because I have done that before. With, uh, with Whitetail, Bears, 
And also with um one of my red deer grinds before the update. I quit before anything good happened because I was like, oh, I'm not seeing any results. I don't know what everybody's talking about. But this update, I stuck with it, and that's when I started seeing the results. It was when I stuck with it for a few hundred kills. Then I just started getting level nines everywhere. Mel, are you going to attempt this method with uh, Red Deer at any point? I'm curious to see how it would work for you since bears it wasn't really doing too well. Curious how it would work for you with uh, Red Deer. Here we go. Finally, able to claim the floater. 265.50, that is a diamond. Diamond 5 of the day, legendary number 7 of the day. This has truly just been an absurd stream. Just absolutely crazy. Even crazier than the other day when we stacked six of them. This has just been absolutely nuts. Yeah, it's a pretty big one, 265.50. He's not bad. Very solid stag. Now, give us a great one, please. That'd be great. Yeah. Great one respawn, please. Uh, maybe, Jake. I might try a Rev on Thule Great One Whitetail. Could be fun. Seven, six. That should be a seven. Seven, seven. Wow, that's a lot of sevens. Love to see it. Uh, it's 1032. We gotta shoot these before they run away. We gotta shoot these quickly. We got some of them. Okay, we hit him good. What about his buddy? Oh no, I accidentally reloaded instead of changing the zeroing. Oh, he turned. Oh, he turned. He just loves turning, apparently. Uh, not vitals on any of those, wow. Unfortunate. Me too, seeing Gerald will forever be missed, but we had to take him out on that day, otherwise he would have just been taken out by the update. But Gerald lives on in our hearts and in our lodge. Forever in our lodge. Was oh, this guy doing the falling thing? Thank you for cooperating, sir. Okay, those ones have already left. Gerald will never be forgotten. Exactly, Thunder. He'll never be forgotten. Gerald will forever live on in our trophy lodge. Forever and ever and ever. Mr. Gerald. Two beautiful sevens there. Alright, let's go reset the time and then reset the game. Or go to the main menu. It was, Ducky. It was unfortunate that we took down Gertie and then the game just crashed on us. One of the saddest moments ever on stream. Quite sad. Quite sad indeed. Hey, Joshua, welcome back. Have I tried the starter lake? I have not winter, but I've heard that it's good. But I haven't tried it myself. Yes, Johnny, that it, indeed. I do have all of the recoil management perks. And it does make follow-up shots much easier. Incredibly easier, actually. How can I get my level 9 bobcat to show up? Uh, are you saying that you have one on your map and you can't get him to show up, or what? Well, 
What map am I grinding Black Bear? You, I've been grinding Black Bear on Silver Ridge Peaks. Well, level six Red Deer, for example, always spawn back as a level seven, or is it random? Um, it is pretty random. They're never gonna always go higher than the previous. Like, a six could come back as a nine, a, a nine could come back as a five, like, it is random. And nobody really knows, like, what system they even use to, like, uh, decide what spawns in is what level. All we know is it seems to make a difference when you leave all the small ones on the map. But other than that, we really don't know too much about Call of the Wild spawn system. But I'm sure over the next couple years, people would probably find more information about what seems to work, uh, how things seem to work. That's just how it is with pretty much any game, though. Over time, people will discover how things work and find ways to use it to benefit them. Alright, so no respawns here yet because we just reset the time and the map. Yeah, see, and that was a long time for a grind, for sure. Also, I never checked to see if Mel replied. Every time I've tried a specific method, it never worked as well for me as just mass slaughter. Don't know if I'll go for a third red, though. Planning on going for more bears. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't liked using the herd management on bears. That is, that is one thing I'll say. I have not liked using it on bear at all. With bear, it seems to make them so hard to predict and to figure out where they're going. And I think that's just because there's not very many male bears on the map. There's definitely way less male bear than there is male red deer or male white tails, so... I can definitely see why you wouldn't want to do it with the bears, because it, it didn't work super great for me. I was finding lots of nines, but it made it so difficult to find any bears. Ah, uh, maybe winter. I kind of want to stick with my current rotation though, because I feel like if I start adding other lakes into it, it could throw off the balance I have going. So I probably won't even go to the starter lake. Because I don't want to throw anything off since we've got a good rhythm going. All right, later, Carly. Thank you for watching. Yeah, see, and I can see that. Yes, please, Johnny. We need more male bears. I hope one of these days they do increase the population of black bear because I feel like it's way too little. Oh, there's definitely more than 60 male red deer per map, Zyphon. I could, I can tell you just from my maps, there's more than 60. Because I see probably close to 100 just at the lakes I hunt. Let's see. Do we have anything here? I mean, who's to say you can't play both uh, Lost in Paradise? I'm going to be playing both. Just because a new game comes out doesn't mean you have to abandon an old game. I played Classic for years after Call of the Wild came out and still enjoyed it. As of now, we don't even know what the gameplay of uh, Way of the Hunter is going to feel like. I do think it's going to be pretty good, but... As of now, we haven't actually got to play it, so it's hard to say. Um, no, Raid. I've never heard of that one. That's interesting. What if there's a great one waiting at the start lake and you're missing out? Eh, there probably isn't. I doubt it. I mean, at some point, maybe we can look there, but I'm not going to shoot anything there regardless of what it is, because I don't want to throw things off. We've got such a good grind going that I don't want to do anything that could mess that up. But I'm not going to take time on stream to go look there. 
I want to spend most of the stream time just grinding as hard as I can to try and maximize the progress we make during this stream. I'll save the boring stuff like searching for new zones for off stream. I would not recommend it at all seeing hunting simulator was a complete flop of a game. The developers abandon it. They don't develop it anymore. They don't fix any bugs in it anymore. I would not recommend supporting the hunting sim devs. If people buy their their games that they have out, that's just going to continue to make them create more half finished games. Because hunting sim has some of the worst animal models and AI I've ever seen. And the devs just don't care. They are just in it for money. However, what I will say is it's probably one of the better games you can get on the Nintendo Switch. So, if you have a Nintendo Switch, it's probably the best hunting game on the Switch. Oh yeah, Lost in Paradise. It was awful. Hunting Simulator... Well, Hunting Sim 2 was a game that showed promise, but the developers just simply did not care about their game. They released the game, said they were going to do updates. They did like maybe three updates. And two of those updates were DLC that nobody asked for. And then they just abandoned the game, stopped replying to people, and basically cut all ties with the game. If you ask me, that's just... it's just terrible. <laughs> Especially since they had the baseline for a good game, but they didn't capitalize on it because they just didn't care. They were just there for money. Which is why even if you even if you think Hunting Sim 1 or 2 might be a fun game to play, I don't recommend buying it because I don't recommend supporting those types of developers that just make a game quickly for some money and then don't ever update it again. That's just a pretty crappy way to do it. Especially when you lead people on to thinking that there's going to be good updates and then it gets nothing. Yeah, exactly, Lost in Paradise. I mean, they added the update with legendary animals, but it's still, like, they're not... It's not enough to keep anybody interested. Like, with Call of the Wild, there's tons of replayability because they're always adding new maps. They're always trying to improve systems, like the Waterfowl system got a massive improvement. They're always adding new weapons. They're adding great ones for the hardcore players to grind for. Like, there's replay value because of stuff like Trophy Lodges and the rare fur types and diamonds and great ones and... Like I said, all the new stuff that gets added consistently. But then you have a game like Hunting Sim where they added two updates and neither of the updates were, pe were things that people wanted. And then they just leave. It's like, well, that's amazing. Well, Winter, frankly, I'm just speaking the truth when it comes to the developers themselves. You can like the game if you want. I'm just saying I don't recommend supporting that dev team because they are just in it for money and always have been. They've been known to just make a game and abandon it. I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious that I wasn't uh, dogging on anybody that likes the game. I'm dogging on the developers for having poor practices. Tokyo, thank you for the seven months, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Welcome back. If only this little guy would just come out from behind that one. Can I just... Thank you, sir. <laughs> that worked. We need a hunting game tier list? That would be a very long tier list because there's tons of uh, Cabela's games from the PlayStation and the Xbox. And then we've also got like all of the Deer Hunter games. That'd be such a long tier list. Maybe one of these days I'll do it though. That actually does sound kind of interesting. Should probably check over here first.
All right, nothing over there. So this guy it is. Do you have any tips when setting up your tents? Um, try to find an area that's going to not spook anything off, but also make it easy to claim the animals. So, for example, when I'm setting up my tents right here, let's uh let's take this one for an example. I have a tent here that I spawn at, and then from here I'm able to hunt all the red deer along this shore. And because I have the tent right on top of these two zones, these red deer do not render in until I fast travel over here. And so because of that, they don't spook from the gunshots. And that way you can take out the ones that are over there as well. And then you also have tents right on top of them so you can claim them quickly. That's uh, my tips for tent placement. It, it has really changed the speed at which I can grind. Oh, definitely, Flanky. We'll stream the Angler. Same with Way of the Hunter. Way of the Hunter, the Angler, Ultimate Hunting, uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. We're going to stream and make content on all of those. Uh, yeah, Profty. Tufted Ducks seem to be kind of in the middle of the map and also in the south. How do the beavers destruction add to Call of the Wild? Are they necessary? So it's actually a way of saving your tents from being deleted, Andrew. Um, basically, whenever it says that a beaver has taken down your tent, what it's doing is it's removing the tent because it was in an area that could have caused it to glitch out and cause game crashes or lose your tent as a whole. Like for an example, if an update places a tree where your tent used to be, because they do change the way the maps are designed occasionally. They'll add trees into areas where they weren't before, they'll remove trees from areas, they'll change the terrain, and they do that to... They, they cause the beavers to take it down as a way to save those tents from actually being destroyed. So it's just as a way to keep you from actually fully losing them. It's uh, kind of an interesting system though for it to say that beavers did it because that leaves a lot of questions like what do you mean beavers there's beavers in the game when in reality it's just saying that they had to remove your tent so you wouldn't lose it honestly i think that would have been a better message to do then people would not be confused about it if it just said your tent has been removed to avoid losing it i feel like that would have made more sense I don't think so, Vidya. It's got more promise than any other game I've seen. You can be excited for it. Because they haven't put it out yet, Avidia. They've already confirmed they're showing full gameplay soon. I don't know if you've kept up to date on the uh, news, or if you've been watching the videos that I've put out on it, but full gameplay is going to be within a few weeks. They've already uh, said that. And they're doing the smart thing. They're not overhyping it themselves because we've seen what happened with uh, Ultimate Hunting when they overhyped it. They started hyping the game up more than a year before it was even finished being developed. And because of that, a lot of people lost interest. And once again, because it seems like sometimes people confuse it when I say stuff like that, I'm not saying Ultimate Hunting will be bad. I think it'll be a good game. But what I'm saying is they started hyping it up and showing footage of it or not even footage, showing images way too early. Even the developer himself regret, regrets showing stuff too early. And so what Way of the Hunter is doing is they are saving everything for a few weeks before release. And I feel like that's a smart move. They're not going to try and oversell it too early. They're giving us a slow trickle, showing us a little bit more every time. And I feel like that's a smart move on their part because it keeps interest. When's the release of the Angler? The 31st of August. I imagine there will probably be some content creator early access at some point. I hope at least. And if so, then hopefully you guys will get a, an early look at it to decide if you want to buy the Angler. And I imagine there's going to be something similar for Way of the Hunter as well to give you guys the uh, ability to make a decision before it comes out. I don't know, Paradise. I'm I'm a little bit uh, curious about the lodges in Way of the Hunter. That's the one thing that I saw in the trailer where I was like, is this going to be all of the lodge? Like, is there more to the lodge? 
The lodges are a little bit underwhelming to me from the trailer, but um, the developers did say that that is not the entire lodge, that the lodges will be much bigger than what's shown in the trailer. The trailer only shows one room apparent, apparently, so that's uh, that's good to hear, I guess. I mean, I don't think so, Avidia. That's cheaper than most AAA titles. You gotta remember that they're not doing exactly the same system as a game like Call of the Wild. They're not gonna make every DLC a, uh, a paid DLC. They're doing a different pay model. The game itself is more expensive when you first buy it, and then DLCs are gonna be much cheaper from what I've seen. Uh, in fact, the season pass that is including two new maps, which are 144 kilometers each, it's only like an extra 10 bucks to get both of those maps. They're just doing a different pay model. It's not gonna be identical to what other companies have done. And since we haven't seen everything in the game, it's possible that they just have more in the game, so they're charging more. And I imagine that because they're using real licensed products like Nikon Optics and um, the Steyr Arms rifles and stuff, I imagine they have to make up for the the price that it would cost to get those licenses to use those, those uh, items in the game. Because it's not cheap to use real licensed products. Gotta pay quite a bit to be able to do that. So I imagine that partially accounts for the price. Uh, we're talking Ray Way of the Hunter, uh, Elmer. I mean, what I've always said, Avidya, is if you're if you're not sure if the game's gonna be good, just wait for gameplay. You don't have to get excited about it if you don't want to. There will definitely be gameplay before it releases. That's already been confirmed, so... I would just wait for gameplay if you're, uh, wanting to see more. But provided everything the developers are saying is true, then I think it's gonna be a good game. I've talked to a few of the developers, and they are very adamant on making the best hunting game ever made. They want the game to be the number one hunting game ever created, with the best story mode and also just the best gameplay. As for whether or not they'll uh, follow through with it, it's hard to say, as we haven't seen the gameplay, but I've got strong feelings that it's going to be good. I really think it will. How do you get so much diamonds? Lots of playtime, Crystal, and perfecting the uh, methods that I use. Like right now, we're leaving fours and below, and it's caused lots of level nines to spawn. I think so, uh, Sizek. I believe they said there won't be anything like that on launch, but it's possible that in the future the angler might get something similar to a great one. Hard to say, though. Yeah, exactly, Cannon. Right now, Call of the Wild is the best hunting game out. And it's hard to say if any game will ever top Call of the Wild, but I think Way of the Hunter at least has a chance of being on par. I've mentioned this a couple times previously, but I actually think that they're not going to take over. Like, neither of them are going to take each other over. I feel like Call of the Wild will be the number one hunting game for people that want a fast-paced, um, more arcade-style hunting experience where there's lots of action, you can t kill tons of animals in a short amount of time. And then for people that want something a little slower-paced and more realistic, I think Way of the Hunter will be the option for them. Because it seems like Way of the Hunter is going with a more realistic feel. So I think both games will still be very popular. I don't think one will take over the other completely. And then for a lot of people, they'll play both. Because each game will have something different to offer. Yeah, Marco, and that's what I'm saying. For some people, Way of the Hunter will be the number one because it is going to be more realistic. But for others, Call of the Wild will still be the number one because they uh, don't want to have to wait a lot of time to see animals. 
Did Call of the Wild come with the Great One? No, the Great One was added a few years after the release. Uh, Vanilla Gorilla, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What fish species are you excited or hoping for? Oh, I am excited for the trout species. I've always loved trout fishing. And so for me, the trout are going to be probably the most exciting thing. And I'm hoping to see a lot of variety in trout species. And then eventually I'd love to see them branch out into saltwater fishing as well. I think they mentioned that eventually they would like to do that, but it won't launch with it. So I'd love to see some saltwater fishing in the future. Being able to catch stuff like rockfish would be really cool. As I have uh, done quite a bit of rock fishing in real life. Rockfish and greenling are pretty cool fish. A lot of fun to hunt. Or not hunt. <laughs> a lot of fun to catch as well because it's a very unique uh, fishing style. What is my favorite animal to hunt? I actually really love the red deer, Renee, which is part of the reason why I keep grinding them. I really like red deer. Yeah, flounder would be cool as well, Gavin. It'd be cool to be able to fish for some flounder. Anyone know what engine Way of the Hunter is built on? Um, I haven't actually heard. I think that it's probably... It's probably Unreal Engine. I imagine. I wouldn't think it'd be Unity. Hey, Uni, how's it going? Uh, wait, weren't you in... Weren't you in iBuy's uh, stream, if I'm not mistaken? I recognize that name. That's a four. All right, well, he gets to stay. Bounce over here. You'd be surprised, video. There's a lot of people that want a super realistic hunting game. Which is why I'm saying, like, Way of the Hunter is not going to take over Call of the Wild, but it will... It will work very nicely alongside of it because the people that want a realistic experience will play that, the people that want a faster paced experience will play Call of the Wild, and then people like me that like both will play both of the games. I don't think one will take over the other, but I do think that they're both going to be very popular. And provided uh, they do everything right with Way of the Hunter, I think it'll be a really good game. The developers seem very passionate and committed to making a great game. After talking to a few of them, they seem super passionate about the project and want it to be really good. Which is why I have so much faith in the fact that they will make a good game. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Uni. Good to see you in here. What's well, the main lakes I use? Because I use way too many lakes, in my opinion, for Red Deer. Uh, so the ones that I use are the two Pukimaro lakes. They're both very solid. I use the Rotanui lakes. And also this river spot down here. This lake right here. And this lake up in the top left. I don't go anywhere else on the map. I just focus those because they're the quickest ones to grind. Got a nice four. Well, not a nice four, but we got a four. Not seeing any new respawns over there, which is good. Don't want to see much here. Uh, no big seven like last time, so it looks like nothing respawned there, thankfully. Let's see if we can get another double diamond. Just killed a diamond? Nice, Lawton. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. We're out. Can we get another di double diamond at this lake? Or, I guess, double legendary. One of them wasn't a diamond. Oh, there's the one that was floating. He finally made it to land. Good to see. It's good to see when a uh, lost sailor manages to make it to shore. Did I hit the tree up? Oh, I'm zeroed for 75. How did that happen? I'm zeroed for 75. That is unfortunate. Well, guess we'll get those next time. Unfortunate. Yeah, sadly, Way of the Hunter is only on next-gen consoles, or I guess current-gen, so Xbox Series X and S, and then PS5. Sadly, it's not on last-gen consoles. And that's another reason why it won't fully take over Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild will still be the number one on those consoles. Probably, Gavin, they see that I'm coming over here and they're like, oh gosh, run. 
All right, nothing big over there. Now for our favorite location. This beauty of a lake. Nice, Ian. I'm curious uh, how the bird hunting is going to be in Way of the Hunter. Haven't seen much talk about that. Look at all those big boys. Nice seven. We got a six. That's another six and a seven. Not too bad. Yeah, eventually there will be... There will most likely be price lowerings on Way of the Hunter, I imagine. Call of the Wild did that. When Call of the Wild first released, it was $25. I believe now it's like... What, 15 or 20? So it did get cheaper over time, and I imagine it will be the exact same for Way of the Hunter. That's how a lot of developers do it. They will lower the price as the game's been out for longer. Or if you're Ark, you for some reason double the price. <laughs> I still don't know why Ark ever did that. That was such a bizarre choice, but... Most of the time, the game lowers in price over time, so... I would say it probably will go down after a couple of years for Way of the Hunter. Well, that's unfortunate. Those ones get to live on. We got the big ones, though. That's all that really matters. What do I think about Ultimate Hunting, the other game coming? I think it'll be pretty good. I just hope that it'll still come out this year. I know that it's been taking them longer to get things done than they thought. So I, I hope it does still come out this year. Oh, wait a minute. We did get two of the sixes. Did I just miss one then? I guess we only missed one. I mean, that's a little bit better. Because Ark has so many free maps. I could see that, Caitlin. I could see that. Oh, I don't, Uni. I don't have any direct uh, links. I just do everything through Super Chats and memberships. Because uh, when it's done like that, YouTube handles all of it. And it's less, uh, less work around tax time for me. So I just uh, do YouTube Super Chats. Because if I do it through direct links, then I have to keep track of that manually and then add it to my taxes at the end of the year. So I, I just do it through Super Chats because it's easier. Even though I technically don't get as much out of it then. Don't float, please. <laughs> CG, thank you for the 13 months. Really appreciate it, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Why didn't they put Way of the Hunter on PS4? They would make way more money, to be honest. Uh, because it's an older console, and in a few years, not many people will even be on PlayStation 4. Because in a couple years, the people that wanted a PS5 will probably get a PS5, because it'll be cheaper at that point. And then a lot of people will have moved on to the PS6 whenever that comes out. So I think for them, it just wasn't a smart financial move to do older consoles since they're a year or two from just being not really used at all. So I imagine that's the reasoning. It probably wasn't worth the amount of time that it would take, the amount of time and money it would take to develop it for two extra consoles. So they probably just chose to focus on the current generation and PC. All right, we need to main menu. Nice winter, that's awesome, dude. I'm actually from uh, Oregon Uni. I live in Oregon. Dad and I got a very big stag, but it fell two stories off of a wall and broke its face and the entire antler broke. Oh gosh, Carson. How does that happen? <laughs> How does that happen, man? <laughs> really curious now. How does that happen? Now that's just how Quattro is, Hunter. Tiawaroa is loaded with red deer. It's one of the reasons I never hunt Quattro Colinas for uh, red deer. Even back when Tiawaroa was at nighttime, I've always done Tiawaroa because there's so many more stags in smaller areas. So you don't have to visit as many locations and you end up getting more red deer even. So that's why I've always done Tiawaroa. I would recommend trying it out if you're having bad luck on Quattro. Tiawaroa is a gold mine for red deer, especially now with the update. Yeah, I can see that, Torpy. I could see that. 
Ready to see the gun models? Me too, Harley. Me too. The ones they've shown look pretty good, so I imagine the rest will look pretty solid as well. Um, hunting with Jays, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Nice, Carter. That's awesome. Oregon's, Oregon's a beautiful state. Absolutely love it here. It was taxonomized? Oh, got you, Carson. Gotcha. I was confused. I was like, wait, how did that happen? Dropping a red deer from, or a red deer falling from two stories? How would that happen? That makes sense that it would be taxed. Um, Donald Trump's toes. <laughs> oh, that's a hilarious name. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that, dude. <laughs> really appreciate it. About to start the great one. Red deer grind. Wish me luck. Good luck, dude. Good luck. Hopefully you will manage to get it quickly. Hopefully you can get it pretty quickly. Let's see, do we have anything new? It doesn't look like it, so let's not waste too much time at that lake. Nice, Gavin. Do you think there will ever be spearfishing on the angler? That's a good question, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, but I think they're gonna go for a more traditional fishing style. They have said that they're very big on catch and release, so I don't think they're gonna do any type of spear fishing. Because you can't exactly release a fish that's been speared. I mean, you, you could, it just wouldn't be alive, but... I don't think they'll do that. Is Spirit Brown Bear rare? Because I got one and want to know if it is. Uh, no, CG, it's not rare. They're an uncommon. You think Under Call of the Wild will ever get fishing? Oh, definitely not, Kings. They're making a separate game for that. Call of the Wild could not handle having fishing implemented. They would break the game. We've seen, like, uh, what happens with bugs each update from the rubber band ball of code that the game has from when it was first developed. There's no way they could implement fishing without causing it to just completely throw the game off. Which is why they probably opted to do a separate game. Because at this point, they've learned from the Call of, uh, Call of the Wild, what they can and can't do, like what ends up working. I'm assuming they probably just wanted to start fresh with a, a fresh baseline, not having to worry about the bugs of Call of the Wild impacting the fishing. And I think it was a smart move. It would be nice to have them both in the same game, but I am totally behind a brand new game being their fishing game. Uh, maybe, Dark Lord. Maybe. I could see ice fishing being a thing. I imagine if they do ice fishing, it'll probably be in a year or two, though. But I could totally see ice fishing being a thing. Same as fly fishing and saltwater fishing. I think we'll get them eventually. Where is that one? There he is. I've used it a few times, Henning. It's just uh, not my thing. I've had quite a bit of... Uh, extreme anxiety my entire life so being on a face cam for like two or three hours at a time uh it's just not for me just not for me at all we have anything big here we haven't in like two or three runs so i doubt we will but we might we might have something here does not appear like it though Let's get that 270 plus great one. Yeah, Thunder, let's get it. Hopefully we can get a great one today. I mean, with seven legendaries in two hours, I got a feeling that we might get something good. It's just, I don't know what. I hope it's a great one. But I'd also be incredibly happy with a super rare if we could get one of those. I would love to see a super rare walk out. Did they try to implement fishing? Just wondering from the latent glitch. Oh no, they never tried to implement fishing. They've uh, they've never done that before. There is like ambient fish though. Fish that you can't actually catch. They're just kind of there for looks. All right, I'm thinking we might need to do a time reset because even with the main menu, they're not really getting to their zones. So I think we do need to do a time reset. Yeah, Dark Lord, that would be awesome. I'd love to see a Mellow Diamond. Yay, 
yeah, true, Torpy. They do pay, uh, they do pay a lot of people for the, uh, the maps in Ark. That is true, because they do the whole, uh, like, contests. So, yeah, they definitely do allocate money for that, I imagine. That is true. They do pay the people to make those maps. I imagine people that just joined are probably so confused because we've talked about Way of the Hunter, the Angler, and Ark in like 20 minutes. I imagine that can be kind of confusing if you're just joining. What is the easiest great one to get? I think the Red Deer probably is, Gavin. Just because of how absurd Tiawaroa is for Red Deer right now. I'd say it's definitely the easiest great one to get. Alright, let's go over here to start. What am I shooting the next one with? Not sure. To be honest, I haven't decided what I'm going to shoot the next one with. I want to make it something unique though. That's a big boy. Couple big mythicals. Three big mythicals. Nice, nice. Love to see it. Any special animals yet? We've got seven legendaries on the day, uh, Lenny. And two times we had them spawn side by side, which was insane. We had two double level nines today. First time I've ever had that happen twice in one day. So it's been quite the insane hunt today. Did we get neck? We did. Nice. I think it's just the six left. Don't hit the female. Ooh. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. Random heart shot. I'll take it. Doc Holiday. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate that, dude. Hope you've been having a good day. The floaters, man. The floaters are still here. Why? <laughs> That's awesome to hear, Torpy. I'm uh, glad that they help you pass the time. I have quite a bit of fun doing them, so. That's a six, two sixes. Should be one more that we're not seeing. Why is the Black Bear grind so hard? I don't know, Avidia. Black Bear in general just seemed more difficult. It's been a brutal grind for me as well. That's why I'm kind of taking a break from it. Oh, this poor, poor red deer. I am so sorry, ma'am. That one's going to spawn back as a melanistic watch. That one will come back as a mela. Calling it right now. Um, supposedly they can who dis, but well, I'll give you a statement ex directly from Jaxie Beard. He said every single animal in the game can make diamond one level below max. But for some, it is so rare that it's never happened. So there are some where it's so rare for them to make diamond at like level eight or four that it's never actually happened. And then there's others where it's happened once or twice. Like uh, there is a couple, a couple people that have killed diamond level eight red deer. But it's, um, I've never actually seen them myself. Jaxie Beard was saying that there's a couple level 8 Red Deer Diamonds he's seen over the years that were confirmed to be legit. So, you can kind of put it into perspective that if it's only been seen like twice over all of the years that Call of the Wild's been a thing, and there's thousands of people playing, that for some of them it's just so rare that it probably won't ever happen. Hey Mike, how's it going? Welcome back. We're doing good. Doing very good. No solo doe zones? Exactly, Johnny. It's a beautiful thing. And honestly, that's probably one of the reasons why red deer are easier to grind. Because that is true with a lot of the whitetail zones. You end up getting solo doe zones if you shoot too many out of them. Do you know when the game is on sale? No clue, I see. Usually around updates, there'll be a sale. Hey, Sonaldo, how's it going? You've missed a crazy stream with seven legendaries showing up. We've killed seven legendaries already. Where's that one we killed? 
I don't even know if we got it vitally, actually. It's starting to look like we didn't. Skylar, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the green name and chat, special badge, I call all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Uh, not seeing that one we shot, so I'm assuming it was a bad shot, so we just won't worry about it. <laughs> I know, right, Sinaldo? The one day that you weren't here for most of it is when we got all these legendaries popping up. <laughs> Gotta love the timing. Um, two fours here, that's it. Huh, that's strange. One of the herds is super late then. Like... Way later than normal. I mean, it's 7.25. I guess we did just change the time, so... Probably why they're not here yet. It's only been like 25 in-game minutes since we changed the time. There we go, level six. How much longer will I stream? Uh, probably like 10, 15 more minutes. Just enough to finish this run up. Cause uh, my video does go live at one. So it's like 36 minutes till the video goes live. I want to get done like 10 minutes before the video goes live, so... At the latest, we'll stream for another like 26 minutes. Maybe, Bandles. Maybe it is a sign. Hopefully it is. Nice, Simon. Happy birthday, dude. Welcome. Yeah, I could see that float. For me, I haven't really had too many situations where I run out of animals. But it might just be the lakes that I'm hunting. Uh, Eddie, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Does not collecting your kill affect respawns? Um... Yes and no. So, you'll still get the respawns. However, I have noticed that I've seen a lot of people say that when they do that, some of the respawns arrive later than normal. So I'm wondering if that is maybe an effect of it. I personally don't recommend doing it because you lose out on a lot of money if you don't pick them up. Like, a uh, part of the ways that I'm able to fund all of these grinds is because I claim everything. Or claim like 99% of them. But thank you for the super chat once again, really appreciate it. What's my favorite bear great one fur type? My favorite is the fabled cream. Uh, for me, I'd say probably the spirit. For me, the spirit bear is my favorite. And then the chestnut is my second favorite. I'd say the fabled cream is probably number three for me. But all of them look pretty good for the most part. What game looks better, Hunter or Generation Zero? To be honest, I like the graphics of Generation Zero just a little bit better. And the only thing I can think of the reasoning for that is because the game is slightly newer than Call of the Wild, so they had a chance to upgrade the engine a little bit. But there's just something about the lighting in Generation Zero that just makes everything look beautiful. The game has some phenomenal lighting. Uh, no, Caleb, we have not got the Great One Black Bear yet. We're taking a break from it because the grind was just becoming, uh, quite, uh, grueling and annoying to grind. So I, I've just taken a break from it so I don't go insane. Steelhead, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Member number 251. 
Enjoy the green name and chat special badge icon and all the awesome emotes ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube, and access to my scrap content on the channel. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Don't you dare get away, little red deer. <laughs> Barely saved that thing. Barely saved it. Hey, CJO, how you doing, man? Good to see you. What's the map's name? This is Tiaoroa. When is the next stream? It should be tomorrow at 1, or not 1. It'll be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, Fainter. I stream every day at 10, except for Wednesday and Saturday. Those are the only days I don't stream. Hey, Adam, we have had a crazy day, dude. Seven diamonds, or, well, seven level nines. Five of them being diamonds. It has been quite a crazy hunt. Actually, let's scan again. Make sure we're not going to miss anything here. Yeah, that's a four. How many kills does it take for you to get a diamond? Well, it's not like a guaranteed thing. Everybody's going to average like different numbers when it comes to diamonds because some people just get luckier than others. For me personally, I've been getting a diamond like every... Well, let me, let me check real quick. Roughly every 40 kills. I've been getting a diamond every 40 kills and a legendary roughly every 20 or 25. Which is honestly kind of ridiculous. Uh, Nathan, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, man. Hope you've been having an awesome day and enjoying the stream. Oh, there's a level six. Alright, let's jump over here. Pick that guy up. What was my first ever rare? Uh, my first rare was a... Albino Roosevelt Elk from way before there was any type of trophy lodges or anything like that. I have a screenshot of it, I know. But uh, the first rare ever that I found was an Albino Roosevelt Elk. Like a couple weeks after the game was released back in 2017. I really wish that back then they had lodges. Nice, Billy, that's awesome. Congrats on the Diamond Wildebeest. What will I take this great one with when I find it? I haven't actually decided fully yet. I'm not entirely sure what I'll use. I want to make it something that we've never done before, though. Alright, not seeing anything crazy this run. So, typically whenever I get some dead periods like this, usually it means that they're in a spot that I'm not looking. So I'm going to assume that maybe my old river spot right here has got a few new stags. We might have to go check that, just to make sure. Because that's what happened last time I started seeing them disappear. Maybe, Johnny. Is a gray-brown bear rare or uncommon? That would be uncommon, I think. I would double check with the people in chat, though, because I haven't hunted the brown bear a ton this update. So I might be wrong on that, but I think they're just an uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's check this spot. I feel like there's some of them there. There has to be. What is my rarest kill? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'd say it's either one of my piebald diamond whitetail or my max weight leucistic diamond mallard. I'd say probably the mallard. Because that's just something you don't see very often. A max weight super rare duck. Not a common thing. So I'd say that's probably my rarest. Hey, what was I... <laughs> there he is. A legendary. 
There's been a legendary hiding at this spot. Are you kidding me? I knew something seemed up. We stopped getting legendary spawns and I was starting to not see as many stags and there we go. Legendary number eight of the day. That one's almost a guaranteed diamond. That is awesome. Number eight. And there's a six too. Yeah, these herds have definitely gained some more stags. I probably should have been checking the zone a little bit more. Yeah, banana, I knew it, man. I did. That's because this has happened like three different times now. The second I start seeing less stags, it's usually because they've moved here. So I do check this zone every like 10 runs or so, but I didn't think there'd be a diamond here. That's awesome. Let's try to get this guy down. I want to make sure he's not going to be moving. Did he? Okay, we're good. I thought he might have put his skull in front of the shot. That would have been very unfortunate if he did. But I think we're good. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Actually, you're probably doing okay because my shots are terrible right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, go don't look, guys. Don't look. I don't want your eyes to fall out. Don't look. That was terrible. That was blindingly bad aim on my part. Yeah, Winter, another nine down. Level nine, number eight. Can we get nine nines in one stream? That'd be crazy. Oh gosh, now that you said that, Caitlin, I see it. Why'd you have to point that out? Now I'm going to see it that way every single time. Yeah, Price, I remember you. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Now, don't crash on me, Call of the Wild. That would be quite rude. Oh, nice, Winter. Nice, dude. Here we go. Is this another diamond? Yes, it is. 254.40. Gosh, we're breaking the bank with how many we've had to tax this run or this stream. I don't think we've gained much money at all because we keep having to tax things. Beautiful to see, though. Also, we tracked it exactly 90.90. That is awesome. Uh, we're probably not going to worry about that guy because he ran quite a long ways away. We'll just go claim this guy and then move on. In fact, I should probably check the river. Do I have any like solo stag zones over there? Because I know that there there is a couple spots where they can be over in that area, so... We'll see. Maybe there's one over there as well. I had a feeling we'd get some spawns here though, considering we were starting to see some of our stags just disappear. Actually, I'll check that later. That's going to take quite a, a while of uh, walking to get over there. Nice, Chope. That's crazy, dude. Three legendaries in one run is wild. Hey, Zen. It's going good, dude. It's going great. Been seeing a lot of uh, level 9s today. Uh, definitely the 300, Carson. The 470, unfortunately, is pretty limited in uses. Really, the only use for 470 is uh, Cape Buffalo. Because you have to get super close for it to be useful. Nice, Matthias. That's awesome. Hopefully I said your name right as well. Nathan, thank you for another super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Welcome back, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Got a six and a five. A little underwhelming after that nine. 
then a three. We're just going down in levels. A six, a five, and a three. Uh, yes, commands are available for all uh, members and moderators. Uh, probably not, Elza. Probably no bears today. Uh, the bear grind just hasn't been fun for me recently. So we've been doing red deer instead. But we will get back to the bear grind once I get another great one red deer. Which, at this rate, it probably won't take super long. Yeah, definitely float. The 454 is definitely the better close range gun over the 470. I like the 470 for K Buffalo hunting, but that's about it. It's the only scenario where I really use it. True, it does have a faster reload. I could see that. I think both of them are probably pretty equal when it comes to usefulness, depending on what you value more. Later, Kings. Thanks for watching, dude. Hmm, unfortunate. Lots of small males this time. A six, a five. And that's all I see right now. Typically, we have we do have two more stags, so I don't know where those guys are. Nice, Chris. That's awesome, man. How many great one reds? As of now, I have two of them. We're going for number three. All right, just these ones. Nice, Kermit. That's awesome, man. Great to see the uh, strategies working for y'all. Nice, FC. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Max score, max weight, diamond feral pig last night. Oh, oh gosh. That's just rude. I don't even have one. That's just rude, Caitlin. Yeah, it's been the same for me, Antonio. I have not been able to keep myself interested in the bear grind. It's so much slower compared to any grind I've ever done. And I think for that reason, it's just made it so it's not as enjoyable. Bears take forever to get to their zones. There's not a lot of them on the map at once. And you don't see as many legendaries for them unless you're using the herd management. And for bears, herd management makes it an even slower grind because there's just not a lot of them to shoot. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to check the pig zones for sure. Once we get done with this red deer grind, we'll start doing a lot more stuff. A lot more different things that we hadn't been doing. Awesome, Zen. I'm glad you enjoy the channel, man. What do I think is the best rifle for beginners? Well, the second you get a chance to use the 7mm, use that. The uh, 7mm is a fantastic rifle. It covers classes 4 to 9. Um, it is single shot, but it's got quite a bit of power. You can take down most level 4 and above. Or not level 4, but class 4 and above. Got my great one, Black Bear, yesterday shows up in my latest harvest, but not the hunting profile. Any idea why? Uh, the hunting profile is kind of buggy, Rizzy. The, the hunting profile that shows, like, the, the harvest and stuff, it's very buggy sometimes. There's been quite a few issues with the, um, uh, player profile and also the top harvests or whatever that, uh, screen's called. There has been a lot of issues with those over the years, and some of them just don't track properly. Which is why I don't really rely on it too much. Imagine, Johnny, that would be crazy. I'd be really happy if I found that. That would be super awesome to see. We got any big boys over there? Doesn't look like it. We'll jump in the stand though, see if we can see it. Nope. Maybe when we fast travel there. Oh guys, the old intro music kicked in. You know what that means? 
Hopefully we'll find something good. This song has a habit of coming on right as we find something good, so... Oh, hey! That explains where one of them went. But what about the others? That, that doesn't explain where the rest went. But we found one at least. Odd. But you know, at least it's a seven. Let's take him down. All right, we didn't spook any over here, so we'll keep an eye on them, see if any pop into render that are good. Do I prefer hunting or fishing? Um, in real life, I actually prefer fishing. I find it much more enjoyable and relaxing. In real life, fishing is my favorite. In, uh, in games, hunting. Nice, Tyler. That's awesome to hear, dude. Good to see the results happening. Got a diamond red deer. Nice, Fox. Nice. Oh, no, Mushy. I've had that happen before. I've had that happen before where I zeroed improperly and then lost a trophy because of it. Definitely uh, not fun. Sorry to hear that, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. Okay, there's one more spot I want to check. Because I can't really see this corner from any of my uh, stands. Maybe we've got something here. Yeah, I'm probably going to start doing the same thing, CJO. Um, as well as the herd management has worked for me for Red Deer, it's I can't say the same with bears. With bears, I've had so much trouble whenever I try to do that. So yeah, I'm probably going to start shooting everything too. At least for the bear. I feel like the bear grind is a very unique grind. Like nothing else I've ever seen. Would I like a new lodge? Yeah, I'd love a new lodge. And I think eventually we will get a new lodge. I feel like we're due for one at this point. Messed up a diamond melanistic red deer for improper zeroing. Oh no, Antonio. That sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that. There's a big seven there. Do we have any more that'll render in? Probably not. Nope, just him. Should probably let my breath kind of get under control again. Ooh. Neck shots are just so satisfying. They never get old. There's just something about seeing that red deer drop after a neck shot. Just amazing. Do we have any random sixes or sevens over here? Nope. Does not look like it. Can we get another legendary down here, though? Oh, wow, Chope. That's crazy. Yes, please, Johnny. That would be incredible. Give us a massive lodge. I think that if they do another lodge, it'll probably be a big one. Since that's been a very popular request from a lot of the community. Big mythical there. And nothing over there. Luckily it's like right on top of our tent. So that's going to make things quick. What's my favorite kill yet? Uh, my melanistic male pheasant. I think it's the most beautiful trophy in the entire game. There's just something about seeing a, uh, a pheasant with blue throughout it that just looks incredible. And then number two would have to be my last great one red deer, the small rack. Big fan of both of those. Let's check here. Maybe we'll have some respawns. Although we just hunted this recently and haven't reset the time, so maybe not. We'll see. I 
don't know, Zach. I th I don't know if I want to use the 454 on a Great One Red Deer. Because the 454 is a pretty, like... It's a pretty easy handgun to use. Like, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to penetrate through any angle and get into the lungs. I almost want to use something that's a little bit harder. I've already taken down a great one with the compound bow, the air rifle, the 6.5, the 303, and what was the last one? Oh yeah, the bow again. So I want to do something different that's also somewhat difficult. But I really don't know what. Okay, these are not back. Assuming they're still spooked from the last hunt that we did there. A shotgun could be interesting. I don't think I could use buckshot though, uh, Matthias. I don't think that you can exactly use buckshot. Unless, um, maybe the 10 gauge buckshot. What does it go to? Four to seven, maybe. I'd have to practice with it quite a bit though to get comfortable. Cause that, that would be pretty, pretty risky using 10 gauge buckshot on a great one. I could definitely see myself using a uh, buckshot on a whitetail great one though. There he goes. You should use the starter pistol. Oh gosh, 357 versus red deer. Hmm. I don't know. I might use the 243 honestly. I think the 243 might be what I use. It's like the smallest rifle I can possibly use on a red deer with it still being ethical. Level 7, level 6, level 8. That's a good 8. I've always really liked that rack for the 8s. It almost has like a bulkier look than the diamonds. No matter what, do iron sights? Maybe. I kind of like using the Red Raptor, to be honest, though. I had a lot of fun using the Red Raptor on the last great one, so... I'm wondering if maybe... Oh, I know what we could do. Should I try the no reticle Red red Raptor on a great one? That seems very risky, but I'm kind of tempted to do it, because it would be spectacular. No reticle red raptor reflex on a 243 might be what I do. Because red deer are a little bit larger of a target to hit than black bear. And if I get super close, maybe it'll uh, be good. And no, it's not a nine. There's a level eight over here. It's a good eight though. So is that guy. There we go. Wasn't sure if we got that shot good, but I think we did. What great one do I want to see next? I want them to do a black tail next. Either a black tail or a mule deer or a Roosevelt elk. I think that's my top three for the next great one. Nice, Soren. That's awesome. Alright guys, we're going to claim these and then we're probably going to call it there, but this has been an incredible stream with eight level nines showing up and uh, six of those being diamonds. It's been crazy. At this rate, we're bound to get a super rare eventually. Whoa, chill dude. Trying to run me over? Not appreciated at all. Starter scope from 200 meters. Oh, gosh. I mean, maybe. I'll have to see how I'm feeling in the moment whenever I find the next great one. But I feel like I definitely want to use the 243. As for whether or not we'll use starter scope or red raptor or the no reticle red raptor, it's hard to say. I'll have to see how I'm feeling in the moment because if I'm not feeling confident in the no reticle, then I won't do it. 
Because that is uh, one of the more difficult things to do. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. Eight legendaries on the day with six diamonds. Zero rares still, which is unfortunate, but we're still doing pretty good. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.